Uh, A3. Graphing reciprocal functions. Warm it up, Klein. I'm about to. Graph it up, Klein. Warm it up, Klein. I'm about to. That's what I was born to do. Graphing reciprocal functions. A3. That's what I do. Uh, yeah, now we're talking, folks. Well, let's get into a little bit of graphing reciprocal functions. Some of you may be like, what in the world is a reciprocal function? What's up with that? Well, a reciprocal function is anytime you have a one over a function. Crazy, I know. So what we're saying is if you start off with some function, f of x is equal to x minus two, that is a function. Uh, a reciprocal function would be g of x equals, well this is all over one, so if you just flip it over and say that's a one over x minus two, fantastico. Um, <clears throat> so this is kind of nice because we have your, a linear function right here, and we do have a fraction, so since it's a reciprocal, a rational function, then we're going to have to do a little bit of, we're going to know that we have some undefined values. So, whenever we have undefined values, that requires you to find your domain. So your domain of your reciprocal function is where your function is defined. So if we have these functions right here, f of x, g of x, h of x, and notice your, each of your numerators don't have any x's in them, but your denominators all do. So in order to find out where this undefined, what you do is you just set x plus two equals zero, solve it, you get x equals negative two. For your g of x, you set x minus five equals zero, solve that, you get x equals five. And then for h of x, you set x equal to zero, and that's, zero. So what that means is you would find your domain that would be all real numbers except except x equals negative two. And you do the same thing over here, you'd say all real numbers except x equals five and so on. So what we're going to do here for example one is we're going to determine our values of x for which f of x equals 2 over bu 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 is, I forgot the rest of the directions, is not defined. Is not defined. So that's the way your direction should say in your book. So what we're going to do is, we're not even going to worry about our numerator. We're just going to take our denominator and we're going to set x squared plus 5x minus 24. And we're going to set that equal to 0. And notice we have an x squared, so that probably means we need to factor. So that would be an x and an x. We need factors of negative 24 that add up to a positive 5. That would be a positive 8 and a negative 3. So if we set each of these equal to 0 and solve, the values for which this is not defined would be at x equals negative 8 and x equals three. So whenever you have your limitations on your domain or wherever you find your values that are not defined, that is just where you take your denominator, set it equal to zero, simplify it, and go on with the problem. Uh, uh, just keep in mind. Warm it up, Klein. Uh, I'm about to. Uh, 